Good evening everyone and welcome to another Mac Merlin group by stream. Let's see who is online tonight. I see a Binson's, Allen, Bond Boy, who else? North Title, Align Ace, Anison, Big Chimpo, Dr. Killswitch, Ro Timmy, who else? Noid DB, Nuclear Monsters, Homie Zoned. Kajata and Static Gauge. Guys, thank you, thank you so much for joining in for another episode of me telling you what to spend all your money on. So before we begin the show, what is Merlin drinking? As some of you already know, some Dairy Gold Old Fashioned Eggnog. I've mixed mine a little bit with milk so it's not super thick. So that's why it may look a little bit less yellow than you may be used to. <laughs> but yeah, tastes pretty good. It's eggnog season. We're just a few days away from Thanksgiving, so starting to see lots of eggnog in, in the stores here. Maybe on Tuesday during my porting with port stream, I'll like mix some some like whiskey in this. Who knows? Who knows? Let's see, Nuclear Monster says, I just sold my other Gothic 70, so I'm ready for the Merlin magic one to get here tomorrow. Let me know what you think about it. Sadagay says, mixed eggnog with milk, not whiskey. Yep, not with whiskey. <laughs> they make almond milk eggnog. Yes, they do. <laughs> they do indeed. Well, let's see. We actually have a shorter stream tonight. And I'll talk about it a bit more later. We only have, let's see. How many things ending this week? One, two, three, four, five... Six, seven, eight. Only eight items ending this week. So I don't know if you if you guys think that's better or worse. Um, honestly, I feel like to join every group buy every single week, you need to be able, able to spend at least 900 a week. <laughs> the Parlo Sack says, how's the Bloomin NK65 doing? Um, it's doing pretty good. Some of you know I built this yesterday. This is my... My first personal build in, I'd say about three months at this point. So it was a, it was a joy to finally build a board for myself. Um, so far, so good. Still haven't quite decided if I like this one better than my original NK65. Haven't quite decided yet. I, I, I keep vacillating between the two of them. But hopefully, hopefully I'll know by the end of the week, you know. Let's see, before we start the show, let's turn on some tunes here. Let me, let's do something a little more laid back tonight. Let's do this one. North Tidal says, I've seen a lot of posts saying they got cracks in the corner. Yes, they do, but those are, those are labeled normal manufacturing defects. Like mine, mine has a small crack right on top of the backspace key. Like you can't see it unless I actually take off the key here. So yeah, it's kind of, it kind of sucks because of that, but keep in mind, this kit right here, $95, $95. I think the Olivia versions will be coming out next month, maybe. Gavin Go says, you have two NK65. Yes, I have the original one and I have one from one of the latest group buys. Will I buy the KBD67 Lite? Probably not. Probably not at this point. <laughs> All right, folks, let's say, let's, let's get the show on the road here. Let's start off. Here we go. Clyback subscribed at tier one. Thank you so much. And you just reminded me, I should, I should say thanks to everyone who followed and subscribed while I was not streaming. I'm seeing a floppy Dorito subscribe with Twitch Prime roughly an hour ago, actually. So thank you, thank you, thank you. A couple of follows, 2KRN, Moist Pant, Billion, Dibstern, Bazinga, T-Browns. A couple more subscribes here. Nick5435, James Webb, Vincent Beckong, da Daniel Kim, Too Cute. Thanks, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So yeah, if you guys haven't joined this stream before, I do this on, on like a weekly basis. I start off with ending group buys. I do starting group buys and then audience group buys because there's no way to actually cover everything that's starting and ending this week. So without further ado, the very first item on our list, 
on our ending group buys list was something I talked about last week, but turns out they extended it to tonight. Here we go. All links will be posted in chat, and if you're watching this in YouTube, all links will be posted in the description below. So here we go. Here we go. First item that we're talking about is all the way on TX keyboards. This is GMK Taiguki. Basically, it's the Korean flag. You can buy the base kit for 143 bucks. Um, alternate alphas for 70. Novelties for 45. Let's see what are these space bars for 45. Alternate accents, I guess, for 15. Solvent artisan for 55. And you have your choice of three different dust mats. $17 each. You got the, here we go, Korean barbecue edition. You've got the flag edition, which some people have said, oh, hey, that's the Pepsi symbol. <laughs> and then we've got this one, also for 17 bucks. There we go. And this group buy, this group buy ends tonight. Here we go. Pretty sure it ends tonight. Timeline. Orders 23rd is today. Yes, today is, no, today's the 22nd. So you actually have one more day for this, if you so desire. If you, if you like this set, please consider joining this and you have about 24 hours. Here, let's go look through all the renders really quick here. Let's see, Anisan says the KBBQ desk mat is so tempting. <laughs> Vincent says the GF likes the KBBQ desk mat. Yeah, it's pretty cute. It's pretty cute. I think the last time I talked about this, I said that if you looked at this from afar, it looked more like a USA key set rather than a Korea key set. It, it kind of reminded me of like GMK Rocket. There we go. You know, I don't think this board looks too good on the blackboard. I can imagine this more on like a grayish board. That would probably do better. There we go. There's a KBBQ desk mat. Benson says he picked up two. Nice. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm still deciding if I want this desk mat. We'll see. There we go. Pepsi desk mat. <laughs> see, there we go. See? I think it looks good on a gray board like this, but not on a black board. There we go, I think we've cycled through the entire carousel here. But yeah, if you guys are interested for, you can pick it up for 143 bucks and you have until tomorrow to grab it at TX Keyboards. There we go. Please click on that link if you are interested. Next up, next up is a set all the way on KBD fans. Here we go. This one is EPBT Modern JA. For 75 bucks, you can get a base kit that looks like this. This is another IO3 collaboration. You can see a modern Japanese legended key set. Let's see. 75 bucks covers most standard layer layouts up to TKL from the looks of it. If you do have a larger board such as 1800 or possibly full size, the numpad is only 15 bucks bringing your total price to 90 bucks. Though overall this is a really good re really good value set. These space bars are eight bucks, dang. Not bad. So now that I know space bars cost eight bucks, I'm kind of like, is it manufactured that cheaply? Is that why most space bars are warped? <laughs> right? If it's really like eight bucks, right? If they're selling this for eight bucks, how much does it cost to manufacture? And if it's, okay, let's, let, let's just assume it maybe cost five dollars to manufacture. Is that why there are so much warpage? There is so much warpage on space bars. Who knows? Who knows? Here we go. Ortho. You can get the ortho kit for ten bucks. 
You can get GIS and ISO kit as well. For 12 bucks, let's see what's the function kit here. Ooh, okay. Whoa, F20, dang, an F24. Very cool. Let's see, Benson says, these aren't Cherry Profile, are they? They should be Cherry Profile. EPBT is Cherry Profile. But, you know, EPBT isn't exactly Cherry Profile. I think it's like, it's almost Cherry Profile. Look at that. It's not bad. It's not bad. Just, just, just remember, if, when you're buying this set, be aware that EPBT is known for their warpage. So yeah, this set expires on November 25th. So if you're interested, please click that link over on KBD fans. Let's see, what was the estimated date? Here we go, production, five to six months. Alan uses Hydrate, thank you. Thank you so much. There we go. So yeah, next up, next up on our list of expiring goop buys expires on the 27th. Here we go, this one's all the way on TKC. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. Here we go, JTK Night Sakura. 115 bucks, you can get the base kit. Extension, you get 60. Or for for 60, you get extension. Very cool. For alphas, whoa, alphas are only 15 bucks. Dang, that's pretty good. That's actually really good. <laughs> Let's see, novelties are 40. And let's see, gray, gray space bars are 15. Okay. And pink space bars are also 15. Not bad. Not bad at all. Let's see, Static Age says, the fact they are including a second set of alphas, but no second tab key sucks. Second tab key would have allowed you to cover two boards at that purchase. That's true. Let's go look at that base kit again. <laughs> Includes a free double shot alpha set. Very cool. Yeah, this is a really nice set, guys. Really nice set. And if you if you don't know what JTK is, JTK is kind of like I I would describe them as a cheaper GMK. So there's no way that they'll be as sharp as like GMK Legends. But the quality quality is similar. Just expect a little gotchas here and there. And that's why it's so much cheaper, so much cheaper. Also, keep in mind, these are triple shot, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, no, wait, I am mistaken. These are not triple shot, these are just double shots right there. See, Chillgam says, look at all of these nerds watching a man build a keyboard. Couldn't be me, wait a minute. Who's building a keyboard here? No one's building a keyboard here. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah. This group buy ends on the 27th. Closes in roughly five days. Let's take a look at some of these beautiful renders. See, Big Chimpa says they claim they're still triple shot, even though it's just two colors. Well, you could still do triple shot, right? Just because the double shot and the triple shot is in reference to using two plastics, right? So, you could do a double shot with the same color plastic, the same type and the same color plastic, and it would still be double shot. Oh, oops, wrong button. There we go. Well, that looks so beautiful right there. The Scar KMM said I hopped on this GB. Yeah, I feel like if you're if you're if you're concerned about value and you're not such a nitpicker for like extremely sharp legends and all that. JTK might do the job for you. Like lately, I've been more concerned about value than I am about the sharpness, just because, you know, I've got plenty of like GMK sets already. And honestly, 
The thing I look for most on a GMK set is, is more like how they feel, not so much how they look, because I don't stare at my board when I'm typing. So lately I've been into JTK. The Novelties Kit. Pretty cool. I think if I jump in on this set, I'm definitely getting the base. And I think I'm gonna get the gray space bars. That's what I'll do. Gray space bars and the base. The double shot alphas, I'm sorry, the the novelties are, are a little tempting to me, but 40 bucks, 40 bucks for this is, like honestly, I'd probably only use the enter key in this kit and maybe some of the R1 keys, but other than that, wouldn't use too much. So 40 bucks just for that is a little too much for me. The January set is tempting, but I already have GMK Olivia and it's a dark set. That's true. And yeah, if you guys are interested, you have until the 27th to purchase this kit. There we go. Please click that link before the 27th. There we go. Next up on our list is another JTK set. Going back to TX keyboards here. There we go. This one is JTK Azure. Look at that. For a base kit, since this isn't double shot or like, or since, I mean, since, since this isn't triple shot, it's only 90 bucks for the base kit. And looks like it has your typical coverage of all standard layouts up to full sized. Let's see, you can also get triple shot Cyrillics for 30. There we go, if you really want triple shot, that's where you can spend your money on. Then you have your option of different space bars for 10 bucks each. You know, um, earlier I talked about EPBT Modern JA where the space bars were eight bucks. I think if this color is close enough, if you think it's close enough for you, it's better to spend your money on the ABS space bars like this. Quinn Captain says, hi Merlin, hello to you too. Let's see, novelties are 50. Ooh, that's expensive. 50, desk mats, 17 bucks, right there. Dust mat two. And the Rama Artisan for $45. Let's look at a couple of these renders. I think the colors look good on this, to, to be honest. This is definitely my kind of colorway. I'd even say that I like this colorway better than Night Sakura. Like, I like them both, but this is gonna have to have like a slight edge to me. Look at that, I, I'm a big fan of lighter colored alphas and the JTK Knight Sakura did not have that. Like, I still think this is, well, it's still lighter compared to the mods, but it's still a dark alpha. There we go, Russian kit. Um, probably won't get the Russian kit. Novelties kit. Apparently, you can make your own robot by combining any of these together, so. That's pretty cool. Clybax says, imagine this with yellow accents. <laughs> here we go, here we go. This is the $10 space bar kit I was talking about, just for kicks. Let's see, let's, let's go back to modern JA really quick. Space bar. Okay, space bar kit for modern JA has 2.25, 2.75. Two 1.5s, a 2U, two 1s, and a 6U non-standard, if I can read that properly. Yep, 6U, centered I mean. A, a whitish space bar has actually more compatibility for $2 more, and it's ABS. 
But yeah, if you guys are just looking for space bars, this might be a better buy. Oh, the red ones too. Cool, cool, cool. Ah, I keep pressing the wrong, the wrong buttons here. Let's go back to that dust mat. Dust mat one, dust mat two. I, I kind of prefer dust mat one over dust mat two. Dust mat two se seems kind of a little too juvenile for me. This one seems more. I just like this one better, I guess. What do you what do you guys think? Dust mat two or dust mat one? Sean Sean DePaul says says two. Jack says two. January says one for me. Scar MM says one for sure. King Friday says two. One one one. Nuclear Monster says two. Yeah. Scott Water says zero. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely a Dustmat 1 kind of guy. Dustmat 2 just seems too juvenile. Let's see, let's go look at the other renders. Huh. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Oh, that looks good. Ah, I keep pressing the wrong key. There we go. Yeah, 60%. That looks really good on a 60%. <laughs> and next one is the... the Rama keys. Go. Not bad, not bad. Izashu says that Rama key looks really nice. I think so too. Except I can't really tell what it is. Like, what is it? A, it's a heart with the gears in it. And what are, what what are these dots? Are these supposed to be like ro robot eyes or something? Can't really tell. All all I can make out is the gear. Do you guys know what this is supposed to be? When it says rivets. Bolts. Princess Alina says, what is a Rama key? A Rama key is a metal key actually manufactured by Rama. So this is metal. Oh my gosh, what's happening here? Holy cow. Lol stacks is ringing with a party of 159. Holy crap, oh my gosh. Let's see, welcome, welcome everybody. Everyone's saying, case is lit. I poop without a shirt. What's going on? What is going on? What, what is the reference? <laughs> well, guys, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. For those of you joining me for the first time, my name is Merlin and I run a weekly group buy stream in which I talk about all mechanical keyboard group buys starting and ending for this following week. So welcome. We are currently on like the fifth item that's ending this week so feel free to open your wallets and buy 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 all of these items <laughs> all right let's see what's next on our list here we just finished azure yeah those are the four those are the four key sets that are that are ending this week so just to recap that gmk teguki EPBT Modern JA, JTK Knight Sakura, and JTK Azure. Out of curiosity, what does the what does the audience like the most here? Out of these four ending group buys, which one tickles you the most? Which one is the most interesting? Which one are you most likely to spend money on? Izashu says Knight Sakura. Okay. Zoo says Modern JA, Night Sakura. The Korean one, Azure, Rama, JA, and NS. Night Sakura. Night Sakura, Night Sakura, Night Sakura. Night Sakura seems to be the more popular one right now. 
El Rahahafi says last one, which is this one actually. Decker T says modern JA. Nuclear Monster says Azure, but I can't tell what colors are on Night Sakura. Modern JA probably. Night Sakura. Sarvixel has simple J. Ah, okay. Sakura's got a great deal, so that says Cajoler. That's true. For those of you who don't know what that deal is, apparently if you buy the base kit, you get a free order of the alphas. Base kit includes a free double shot alpha set. So I'm assuming double shot alpha set is going to be this one right there. But yeah, very, very good deal if you buy this. Very cool. Cool, cool, cool. All right, guys. Let's see. If I were to buy one, I think I've already hinted at it. I decide between JTK Knight Sakura and JTK Azure, but Azure would probably win out just by a little bit for me, just because I prefer these lighter colored alphas. I do have to say that this that this extra alphas kit is very, very tempting, so who knows, who knows? I'll probably talk about it on my Discord server once I make a decision. See, King Friday says, is JTK quality good currently? Yes, it is. Um, I've been buying JTK since they first came out and their first editions were all kind of wonky, but the ones that I've seen lately look to be much improved. All right, let's move on from key sets to keyboards. Let's see, the first keyboard that is ending this week, I actually talked about it last week as well. Notya MK is raiding with a party of Three. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for sending your your people my way. Here we go. First item that is ending on the keyboards this week. It's a really tiny one. Some people can't even call it a keyboard. But this is the Paw Group Buy. This is a arrow key macro pad that is that comes in either hot swap or soldered for 150 bucks. You know? So here, let's take a look at the two pictures it's got. From the front, it looks like your typical arrow key macro pad. And on the back, you have a small brass weight here with the paw. 150 bucks. The case is made out of polycarb. It's got a brass plate and weight. It's got built-in Bluetooth, USB-C, RGB underglow, and a battery as well. And it's actually using it's not using QMK, it's using a different keyboard firmware, but you can put QMK and VIA on this as well. I think the last time we talked about this, I wasn't too happy with the $150 price tag. I thought this was too high for what it's proposing. I'd say that if they lowered the price down to 80, this would be more, more worth it. Because right now 150, that's, that's way too much. Way, way, way too much. When Captain says that's four BDEs. <laughs> yeah, it's just um, like maybe if it was a brass case, then yeah, or even like an aluminum case, then sure. But still, still for four keys, 150 bucks, that's too much. That's too much. Let's see, expected ship date is January to February of 2021. Interesting. All right, if this is a board that interests you, like if you absolutely want an arrow keys macro pad, kindly click that link before November 23rd, which is tomorrow actually. Cinderkill Redeemed Hydrate, thank you so much. All right, let's see. What's next, what's next? What's next on our list of expiring group buys? This one's actually a keyboard, not a macro pad, so that's good. This one is another keyboard I talked about on my interest check videos. Here we go, the Pizza 65. There we go, seamless design, top mount case, made in Italy. Check it out. And the best thing about this is the price. The price is like, 
Oh wait, no, that's just the PCB. The price is... Where's the price? It's like 200, there we go. 210 Euro, which is roughly, what's that? What's that in USD? 250 bucks, there we go. And you can get a brass kit for, what's that? The brass kit is 290 bucks. Yeah, here, let's go click on these links really quick. You can choose between graphite black, pearl ruby red, Gentiana blue. Ooh, that's a nice blue color. Dang. Let's see, let's take a look at the brass one. Let's look at the brass. Ooh, same colors apparently. Oh, this is just a brass plate kit. There we go. So, when I did like my interest check video on it, I. I really like this board because of its seamless design and its top mount casing. Um, I'd much prefer a gasket, but top mount is good too. But what really stood out to me was not the keyboard itself, but the PCB. Here, let's go look at the PCB really quick. PCB, where are you? Here we go, let's click here. Here, this PCB right here I get better pictures of it. There we go, okay. Some features about this PCB. Number one, it's got a USB-C port, which should be standard by now. But the things that are different from it that really stand out amongst other 65% PCBs is that it, it uses an ARM chip. So um, most boards today are, used to, are using like an AVR chip which has very little memory and very little EEPROM. So with an ARM chip, as QMK improves, as VIA improves, you can do crazier and crazier stuff without worrying about memory. And it's also faster and cheaper. Number two, it's got ESD protection. Number three, it's got overcurrent protection. And number four, it's got overvolted protection. So this is like a very well-protected PCB. And yeah, it's got all the usual suspects as well, like south facing switches, reset button, all that good stuff. So yeah, this is, I'd say like, this might be one of the best 65% you can buy on the market right now. Andy J. Kim says, seems like overkill. Um, People said that about ESD back in the day as well. So yeah, like like you never know you need it until it happens. <laughs> but here, I think earlier someone mentioned that Italy is not known for their PCB and keyboard manufacturing capabilities. That is very true, that is very true. And I believe this is the first keyboard that this group of people have produced. So you have to scrutinize if like, like you really need to pay attention to the quality control here. Let's see who said, oh yeah, Mr. Petrov is the one who said that. Mr. Petrov, long time no see. I need to touch base with you soon. I need to send you back your board. I never did make it back to Portland. <laughs> Let's see, Decker T says, first time runner doing unlimited group buy concerns me. Yes, very true. January says, does it come in a pizza box? If you read their Geek Hack thread, they claim that it's gonna come in a pizza box and you're gonna have this guy right here as a bunch of stickers, let's see. Can I find that Geek Hack thread? Oh, Mr. Petrov forgot his, about his board too, huh? There we go. Here's the Geek Hack thread for the Pizza 65. Pasted it in chat as well. Yeah, where's that? Where are those stickers? He showed stickers earlier. Oh, here we go. You get these limited edition stickers. <laughs> Pizza Keeb. Pizza Keeb. 
and then let's see he showed the box too that it was supposed to go in if I remember correctly where 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 is it I remember him showing off the box or maybe I'm just dreaming about it who knows who knows yeah I can't seem to find it, but he did say he was going to deliver this in a pizza box. Hopefully the pizza box is well protected so your board doesn't get dinged up and all that. Anyway, if you guys are interested in this, please hit up the link. Hit up that link. Jeremy says, hopefully it's as good as it sounds. Yeah, yeah, hopefully. We'll see, we'll see. Okay, next item on my list. Next item on my list is... Actually, those are the only two keyboards that are expiring this week that I know of. So once again, that's the PAW. Arrow key macro pad and the Pizza 65. But yeah, check out either one of those two this week before you miss out. Next up is a bunch of switches actually Here we go first item on the switches list expires on November 28th Here we go. This is the tropical linear switch on bolsa supply Here we go for 575 you get a pack of 10 tropical linear switches. This is another JWK V V color in fact it uses a 63.5 Gram spring. It's got your usual polycarb top, nylon bottom housing with a palm stem. So this is this is gonna feel very similar to the novel key silk yellows, if you guys remember those. But yeah, pretty much another recolor. Pre-order ends November 28th at 11:59 p.m. If you're looking for a a switch that happens to match this colorway. This might be the one you want. The Nuclear Monster says, we need to count of how many runs of JWK, JWK Linears have gone this year. Way, way too many. Okay, if you guys are interested, click that link. Right there. Okay, next up is another switch. This one's on Apex keyboards. Here we go. Shogoki Tactile Switches for 840 Canadian for a pack of 10. These are an EVA01 inspired switch. It's got your poly top, nylon bottom, palm stem, tactile switch. And let's see, what's the weighting on this? I think you can pick. Oh, there we go, 65G. This is a 65G tactile switch. There we go, let's take a look at that switch in more detail. Yeah, two, two JWK V colors. I feel like the last couple weeks I've just been saying, oh, there's a new switch. By the way, it's the same as this other switch. Anisan says, it would be interesting to see a board where each switch is a different JWK V color but that it would feel all the same, right? <laughs> see, how are JWK tactiles? Are they T1? I've never actually tried one of any of the newer JWK tactiles. I've been more of a linear person these days. Oh, here we go. Made by JWK and TikTok. Interesting. B Big Space says, you think these will be good? I, I don't know. I don't know. I've been so detached from the tactile side of things for a long time, to be honest. But I do have confidence they will be just as smooth as their linear counterparts. Look at that. There we go. The nuclear monster says this is six dollars and forty-one in USD. Six forty-one for a pack of ten. 
Mr. Bojangle says, have JWK Linears never tried their tactiles? Me too, me, me too. Let's see, when is this supposed to ship? This is supposed to ship, well, production in two to three months, shipping to you in January and February. Cool, cool, cool. So guys, those are all the group buys that I know of that are ending this week. So just to go through them one more time, starting off with the GMK Teguki, EPBT Modern JA, JTK Knight Sakura, JTK Azure, Paw GB, the Pizza 65, Tropical Linear Switch, and the Shogoki Tactile Switch. Those are all the group buys that I know of that are expiring this week. So guys, this is probably a very rare occurrence, but I've looked around and I don't know why, but I think it's like, actually, I, I have a good guess as to why. Um, this week is going to be Thanksgiving week for those of us here in the United States. So people are spending time with their families as best as they can, given our current situation around the world, you know? So I think, I think that's the reason why we don't actually have any group buy that is starting this week, <laughs> you know? I couldn't find anything that was starting this week. I was like, nope, that's starting the week after. Wait, that started last week. Wait, that's starting this week. But there's nothing like, there, 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 there's like nothing this time around. I was like, okay, um, sure. But, you know, maybe I didn't do enough research. So here we go. Here we go, we're gonna transition into group buys from the audience. So this time I've included some text here to tell you how to do it. You gotta whisper me here on Twitch with any group buys, ICs I guess even, you know. <laughs> yeah, basically just as long as it's happening, starting or ending within this next week, please let me know. Please let me know and you can do that by whispering me here on Twitch. Do please include the context, the start and end dates, and anything of note that I need to pay attention to so I don't need to read the entire group by. Let's see. I'll, I'll have this open for the next, um, let's see, how long should I have this open for? Let's, let's go for like the next 10, 15 minutes. We'll see what happens here. We'll see what happens here. Chihu, redeemed spoken word. All right, I guess while we're waiting for that, while we are waiting for people to send me any links, I'll do I'll do a spoken word. Chihu, let's see, Earth Sojourner redeemed it as well. Chihu, any particular style, any particular, I guess, theme that you want me to do it in? Here, I'm going to set that up while you while you make your decision. Oh, here we go. Scott Water sent sent me something. Chihu says the Merlin style. Merlin style. I think my my default style is like Shakespearean. <laughs> so yeah, let's just do that, let's just do that. Here we go. Okay, for those of you who don't know spoken word or who don't know what spoken word is, basically it's it's poetry. It's poetry, but since I'm no poet, um, I figured the best poetry I can read out to all of you guys is by reading the typing test. <laughs> See, Chihu says, do it like a sports announcer. Oh, okay, okay. Let's see. All right, okay. I, I think I can do sports announcer here. All right, let's pause the music really quick. There we go, Chihu. We'll do Chihu's Redeem, and then we'll do Earth Sojourners. There we go. So we'll do, do it here. 
Okay, sport announcer. Here we go, here we go. Let's see. Gotta think about this first. Okay, 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 I got it, I got it. Here, hopefully I can do this right. Also, no move little dose and such give get old, old can few child. Be consider, say for play between plan old, just stand owned. Problem on still at few world more, what more, which day right? Most people, how long here, still a high very keep, can and state some. <laughs> There we go. Wow. Wow. <laughs> that was a sport announcer um, commenting on the climax of a game. <laughs> Alright. Earth Sojourner. It's your turn for the next one. Um, what? What theme? What what style? What um what Yeah, what what theme do you want me to do? Let's see, let me let me just keep an eye out for who's sending me stuff. Yep, Scott Water, Izashu, and Prilosac. Alright, we'll 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 get to you. We'll get to you once I do this next redemption thing. Can I do it in Spanish? Uh, I guess it would need to be a Spanish words, right? But it's not like I can read Spanish or understand Spanish. So, Ben sends him. Unfortunately, the person who redeemed it is the only one who can suggest the theme to me. It is their decision. So, Earth Sojourner, just let me know. Yeah, I, I don't think I can do it in Spanish. <laughs> Classic Shakespeare, but I told you I can't do it in Spanish. <laughs> okay, let's see. I see Benson sent me something as well for the audience group by. All right. Nuclear Monsters music stopped. Yes, I stopped the music so I can do the spoken word. Earth Sojourner says, give me a minute. Okay, all right. Well, while you're, while I'm giving you a minute, I'm just gonna tabulate all these messages. Let's see, Scott Water. All right, here goes. Night radio announcer, spoken word for Earth Sojourner. Give real, over could. A first say, more they call, other some through, under few who good, number ask each, that tell those both, should but or call with over many, much over still, how to man, public want few, no may high, that such an also which, how's time? <laughs> And you are right, it is a 180 degrees from sports announcer. <laughs> alright, alright. Let's see, I'm not seeing any more. So let's get on with Scott Water stuff. Here we go. Let's turn the music back on. Let's see, where's my music? There it is. Here we go. Okay, starting off with our very first item from Scott Water. This is the, here we go, Aurora Input Series 65. Earth Soldier says, thank you Merlin, you're welcome, you're very welcome. Thanks for being on stream for so many times that you were able to redeem it. 
So here we go. The Aurora Input Series is a modern take on the classic custom keyboard design. Ooh, very pretty. Already has my attention because it's got a blocker, so that's cool. Let's see design. While the case consists of top and bottom piece milled from aluminum. Yada yada yada. Typing angle is eight degrees. Oh wait, I should probably post this in chat as well. Go. Center mounted USB-C, pretty cool. Weight, clocks in around 1.5 kilograms. Machined from solid block of stainless steel and finished off by bead blasting its surface. Cool. It's looking like a really nice board already, to be honest. USB-C daughter board as well. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, interesting. Mm, that kind of reminds me of how the key cult does it right there. Okay. Plate and PCB. Plate is 1.5 millimeters thick, six point mounting system using leaf springs for flexibility. Cool, cool, cool. PCB, of course, provided by Wilba. Let's see, ANSI, ISO plate, all the different layouts supported. Release. Available colors for the case will be black and silver. Price is 529 euro. What's that? Oh, people are already saying Nuclear Monster says it's 568 bucks. That's not bad at all. A limited pre-order of 200 units will take place on November 23rd. That's tomorrow. Spots will be assigned using a raffle. That looks really good, actually. It's a very nice keyboard. I know, for those of you who missed out on the Vega and don't want to wait for the group buy, yeah, you know, this is this is another quality board right here. Yeah, thank you so much, Scott Water, for providing that link. This next one is from Izashu, Infiniki Morse keycaps. Here's the link right there for a hundred bucks. You get a PBT set with Morse code on it, apparently. The base kit's 100, operator is 35, add-on is 50. Let's see, what, what does that operator look like? Dang. It's very interesting. <laughs> cool. This is, this is a weird set, but I like it. <laughs> very weird, but very cool. You know, they, someone should like, someone should make a key map or a macro, which would output all of these as you press the key. That would be pretty cool. <laughs> cool. And yeah, this is on the key, the key company. Currently, the the group is actually in in progress right now, and it's closing in a week and five days on December fourth. But I guess it started, let's see, what did Izashu say? Izashu said it started two days ago. There we go, there we go. Let's see, Drosko said, would you say Infiniki has better quality than JTK and EPBT? I have no direct experience with Infiniki, actually. My first set was Infiniki Port, and that has yet to make it to me. Um. I'd say it's it's hard to compare a PBT set with an ABS set like JTK. But from what I've heard, from what I've heard through the grapevine, the Infiniki stuff is fairly decent. So yeah, if you guys are interested in a very unique looking set, please consider clicking it. Here we go, apparently this is a pre-order of the Discipline V2 65% DIY keyboard kit. For 70 bucks, you get an entire through-hole kit, you get FR4 switch plate, 
acrylic angling feet, noise dampening foam, you get the PCB and bottom plate, and all the necessary components to make this board. Let's see. You can also select your color, black or white, all that good stuff. You've got your build guide and flashing guide as well. Here, let me put that into chat. That's a good one right there. Thank you, Prilosec. Here we go. This one's from Homie Zone. It's a keyboard on Z Frontier. Go. What does Homie Zone say about this? He says another gasket 65 starting at 245 USD. Group buy ends on the 25th. Many people interested to use proxy to purchase this already. Here, let's take, take a look at this board. It's called the Den, Den something. Interesting. Look at that. It's got a blocker for the arrows and where that last column key should be. Instead, you've got a little logo there, a little nameplate. Homie Zone says the number one. It's called the number one. Nice, nice, nice. The 6.8 degree typing angle, gasket mounted board. Of course, the PCB supports both QMK and VIA. Cool, cool, cool. Lots of people commenting on it already. Just for the pictures alone, it looks it looks really nice. I like it, except not so sure how I feel about that that nameplate there. Kind of, I kind of wish the nameplate would be on the top rather than on the bottom. Just because I've used that key, that key where that it's taking the place of, I've used that key as a function key every now and then. So I'm not I'm not too hyped about the layout that they've chosen here. Very cool. If you guys are interested, please click that link. And yes, as Homie Zoned has told me, you will need a proxy to purchase this. Let's see who's next on my list. Binsons. Binsons. Let's see. Oh, okay. He said already covered. Okay. Very cool. Let's see, last one on the list is from Droska. Ooh, okay. There we go. Droska is sending me a link for... This one's all the way on drop. This is the CRP C64 die sub keycap right here. Ooh, these actually look pretty good. If you guys have never tried CRP before, they're one of the one of the better PBT sets that you can buy right now. They're also in cherry profile, so if you can't stand the shine of ABS, definitely check this out. Let's see. C64 alphas go for 50, alphas go for 25. 80s or 70 modifier 25 so many different kits here dang and of course you've got different dust mats available that 20 bucks for the dust mats see was that only one dust mat oh there's a light dust mat and a dark dust mat hmm i think i like the light one better better than dark and of course you can also buy one of those cheap DIY cases that come along with this. Let's see. Package contains case, brackets, screws, stickers, and instructions for a seven degree typing angle case. I'm really curious about these. Maybe, maybe I'll buy them this time, but you can buy this, this case for 25 bucks. King Friday says, I bought into the set. The group by thread was questionable. Well, you know if it's being run by drop, they're not gonna like scam you. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm interested in this case. We'll see. 
We'll see how it goes. We will see how it goes. But thank you very much, Droska, for sending that to me. And the second board they talked about is actually ending next week. All right, let's see, anyone else? Oh, Homie Zone, send me another message. Oh, nope. That was just from earlier. Okay, it's looking like that's that's all we've got. Um, I'll keep this open for another minute or two, then we'll see. Yeah, I think out of these ones that people talked about the most, though, the ones that caught me off guard the most is probably this one. The one from Oblotsky Industries. This is a very nice looking 65%. It's got that seamless design that I like, and it's got that blockered arrow keys. Looks really good to me. Looks really good to me. The back has the centered USB-C port. It's very pretty. But what, 568 bucks? That's that's kind of pricey to be honest. Zoo says, I can't believe you haven't heard of this one yet. Hey, I don't hear about most things, I think. That's why I've got to research them. You have to log in with your Discord into the Koi raffle. Right, let's see. Yeah, um, let's see. When was this supposed to go live? 26 or something? Man. If I had known about this earlier, I would have saved up a bit more. Oh no, this, this, this goes live tomorrow. Oh no. <laughs> okay, um, yeah, we'll see, we'll see. This is a very nice looking board. Wouldn't mind owning one myself. Shoots. Oh well, oh well. All right, I'm not seeing anyone message me anymore, so hopefully that's all the group buys that are either starting or ending this week. Once again, if you're catching this not live and on YouTube, all those links will be provided down below. And more than likely, there will be updated links compared to the ones that I just showed today. So yeah, hope everyone has a good start of your week and a good rest of your weekend. And you know, if you have any time to spend with your family over Thanksgiving, or if you're doing Black Friday shopping, hope you, hope you get all that you need. All right, folks, thanks for joining in. I'll catch you when I catch you. Goodbye now.